Good morning, Red and Ruby class, and welcome to today's maths lesson. Today is the 25th of the 2nd, 2021. Did you spot our ordinal number there? We said 25th. Brilliant if you did. And our skill today is to use ordinal numbers to follow instructions. Now today, we're going to make a sandwich. So, you either you need some things to make a sandwich, so that bread, spread and a filling, or if you don't have any food to make a sandwich with, because we might get it a bit wrong, then you need some paper or Play-Doh that you could make one, a pretend one with. Okay, but don't worry about it now. We don't need it till the end of the video, so you can watch the video first and then ask a grown-up for help. Okay, now lots of things we do need to be done in certain uh, orders, otherwise they just don't work. And we can use ordinal numbers to help us with this. So let's have a look at some mishaps where things have gone a bit wrong. Oh dear, this man put his pants on last. Your pants are meant to go on first. Your trousers second, socks third and shoes fourth. You don't put your pants on fourth, do you? Oh dear. Okay, or let's have a look. Oh, washing our hands. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, put them in the mud. Wash them, lovely, lots of soap, nice, yep. Yeah. And then washing them, good. He's doing a great job. Washing his hands and then, what? And then putting them in the mud. No, that's not right. First, use water. Second, add soap. And third, you dry your hands. You don't put them in the mud. That's not how you wash your hands. Oh dear, that little raccoon's got it all wrong. And what else? Yeah, tying your laces. Tying your laces needs to be done in a certain order. So first we tie a knot. Second, we loop it round our fingers. Well, third, you don't just let go. Third, you need to make another loop to get it right. So I wonder if you can help me to get these instructions in the correct order to make a successful jam sandwich. Are you ready for the task? Great. Okay, so we have our ingredients up here for a jam sandwich. First, we have the jam. Second, we have some bread. And third, we have some spread. So let's just check our positions. So first is the jam. Hmm, which one is second? Yeah, it's the bread. We're on second is the bread. And third, we have... What's in our third position? Butter. Okay, good. Are you ready to see how I got on making this jam sandwich? Oh, I made a short video so that you could see it. Oh. Okay, so let's have a go at making this lovely jam sandwich. Okay, so I've got my jam, my bread and my spread. Now it said first, get the jam, that's first in line. So we put that on, squash it down, yummy. Next, second is my bread. So get some bread, push that into my jam. Delicious, it's all oozing out the side. And third was the butter. So now I get the butter and spread it around. It's quite hard to spread with one hand, but there we go. First jam, second bread, and third butter. What do we think of my lovely jam sandwich? Do you think I did a good job? Hmm. Oh dear, I don't think that was right, was it? I, want, I think I'm gonna need your help to get this right. Let's see if we can do it together. Okay, so we have our ingredients here. We have some jam, some bread and some spread. And that sounds great to me for a delicious sandwich. But which item do we need to use first? So we've got our first up here, our instruction. So which item do you think we need? Yeah, I think we better put some bread down first. And second, which is going to come next? The jam or the butter? Yeah, let's put the butter second. Say it with me. Butter goes second. Good job. Okay, we've had first, we've had second. So our next instruction is third. Well done. So third, we have some jam. Let's see if I can do a better job this time with the ingredients I've got here. Now, I just grabbed a piece of bread out of our kitchen. 
Go to the role play area. And I'm going to put on some nice, delicious uh, Play Doh spread. So, first is bread, second is spread. Well done. Hmm, what ingredient goes third? Have a look. We've got third. Ah, oh, the jam. So, I'm going to put on some nice Play Doh jam. Now, that already looks much better. So, your challenge today is to follow the instructions in the correct order to make a sandwich. Now, you can make it out of Play-Doh or paper if you don't have any ingredients. And I can't wait to see the photos that you're going to be sending in of your delicious photos, uh, of your delicious sandwiches. Now, if you're really lucky, a grown-up might even make you, uh, let you make a sandwich for your lunch. Ooh, fingers crossed. Once you have made your sandwich, we need to get these numbers written down. So we're going to write down our instructions. So we're going to, once you've made it, you know what to do. So we're going to write first. Now, do you remember that first is written with a one and then a small s and a small t like that. Can you see that they're flying in the sky? It's because they're weeny. Okay, that's okay for this. So first we had bread. So let's sound it out, bread. B -r -e -d. Great. First, bread. Hmm. What did we use next? Next, we used butter. So we're going to write first was bread. So our next instruction we say is second. So we do a two, and then remember we do the n d there. Second was butter. Or if you're using spread or marge, that's fine. You can write whatever you use. Butter. So we've got first instruction, second instruction, and finally our third instruction. So we're going to write f three and an R and a D to say third. Third was jam. Jam. J -a -m. Jam. J uh, mm. Jam, or if you have ham, you could write uh, mm. whatever you put as your filling, you can add in here. So we've got our instructions now to follow first bread, second butter, and third jam. And I think we can all agree I made a much better sandwich when I followed your ordinal instructions. Great job. Okay, as a chili challenge, you might want to add more steps, remembering to use our ordinal numbers. So you might put, hmm, what do we say after third? What first, second, third, fourth. Good, we don't just say four, do we? Because it's not our birthdays, we say fourth. So we would write that like this, fourth. And then you might write, add more bread, because you might want to close your sandwich, or you might just write fourth. Instruction is to eat your delicious sandwich you've made. Okay, good luck with the sandwich making today. I hope you all have a tasty time. Bye.